Hello everyone, this is Nitin here. How are you doing? Uh, I know, I mean, I'm doing this uh, demo after a long time. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I was a bit unwell, so uh, please excuse me if I'll, if my voice will be a little bit of uh, shaky. So uh, I apologize for that. So I'm getting a lot of emails saying that uh, how can I learn watercolor more easily? Uh, they have a little bit of a uh, problem uh, even after uh, spending a much time on doing watercolor and practicing things and all. So today uh, my idea is to uh, take that question and uh, want to make an, uh, a quick demo to, to, uh, to let you know uh, what all those uh, uh, the technique uh, which you need to apply when you do watercolor i want to make it a very simple uh, and but at the same time uh, i wanted to uh, i wanted to make this uh, very appealing utilizing those uh, watercolor principle so i hope uh, uh, you will enjoy this video and uh, uh, and uh, i wish for you i wish you a uh, very good luck for your watercolor journey so uh, what I'm going to do today is, uh, uh, since I've already, you know, I've made the sketch. Uh, uh, so I want to make this uh, 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 the, uh, storytelling experience in 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 our painting. So it's a very simple sketch, uh, and as I said in my previous video, also you have to do a lot of uh, sketches, which will allow you to do a much better watercolor and uh, that will give you more freedom to express your yourself uh, with the help of uh, uh, you know uh, the depth and the light of your painting and the watercolor is all about that um, so please check out my uh, my patreon page be my patron thank you so much the po the people who already uh, become a patron of my uh, my my work or supporting my artwork thank you so much to them and i look forward to have more and more contributors so what i'm going to do now is uh, i'll just make that uh, sketch so in my previous video i said uh, the the composition of watercolor and your sketch would also plays a very vital role when you do watercolor so keep that in mind when you when you sketch so I'll just go ahead with uh, very quickly okay this is uh, some building here which is in your background okay and this is slightly even more far there is some more skyscraper here and there's a one one car So you need to just express your your story here, and that's why the water uh, your sketch plays a very vital role. And just behind one more car and some more so it's a little bit of perspective here and you also need to just give there is a few people here walking around yeah so yeah so that's the story of this uh, 
painting and uh, we will be doing uh, our first uh, layer of this painting a uh, lot many people are asking uh, i mean before starting the painting do i uh, uh, do i uh, wet my 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 paper uh, so no uh, i don't do that uh, i i i just go ahead with this uh, the first wash uh, with the with the entire layer layering the washes of the whole pa whole paper and then i go for the next layer with the uh, when it got dry so that's the technique i do follow so uh, it uh, i also uh, you know i tell i would recommend you to uh, stick with this uh, at least for if you are a beginner so that going to help you and you will be in a better position to control your whatever let it dry completely and then go for uh, you know second layer all right so uh, friends i'm doing this first layer of this painting and uh, uh, let me introduce the color so i'm i'm using this uh, cobalt blue sepia sap green orange yellow ochre red crimson and uh, uh, other side of this palette which is not visible as I'm using the ultramarine blue and uh, burn sienna and somewhere the black also uh, so let's go ahead and do our first wash so I've just taken this uh, cobalt blue and sepia and this my is this is my first wash so I have not uh, completely uh, so I'm using this uh, now burn sienna And the paper I'm using here is uh, is a local locally made uh, watercolor paper, which is available in my local area. Uh, it's a the reason I'm using this because it's uh, pretty cheap, and uh, it served the purpose what I want. So so I'm pretty good with this, and I'm uh, I'm I'm using a lot. So. You can definitely you can just go any paper you want paper or the art material doesn't doesn't uh, you know uh, plays a vital role it's just your skill and your ability to paint with any sort of paper or color or anything so i completely against all of that when people say that i i'm not doing this because i'm i don't have that paper or the color or whatever brand anyway so um, I'm just giving a little the a little color so I'm using here a little lighter color mm, so when it get dry so it will be even more lighter bring a little life you should always use some other color also otherwise your painting will look very monotonous so always try to utilize your all the color wherever possible
and uh, I'm keep telling uh, you guys that when you paint don't uh, don't take that uh, much stress how your painting will will go ahead if you'll do certain things and all yeah, just enjoy whatever it comes and be happy with that so that's the only mantra to learn watercolor don't take stress the moment you'll get stress and uh, you'll start thinking oh, my god if i'll do this uh, my painting will get spoiled or stuff that's not the right approach so keep that in mind my friends yeah sometimes even I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> but uh, yeah there has a some some point where you you convinced yourself that uh, whatever you're doing that that will give you some result so and you're not scared taking any risk while doing painting so so you can just uh, use that uh, mm -hmm. I like this yellow taxi whenever I see any taxi I'm a little obsessed with that <laughs> there's a lot of taxi here in India having a different color lots of color actually I'm just trying to make this car in a different color whenever you feel that there is an excess color, uh, excess uh, water in your breast just mop that okay so so looks like we have just done our first layer of this painting and uh, and this is pretty good all right so uh, I'm doing this uh, second layer of this painting so again so watch me carefully because I want to make it uh, uh, a very simple uh, way to uh, tackle this painting so the very first the first building of this okay So this building I wanted to make it a little darker so there might be some little depth color in it Now, the second building is a little darker than this. Mm -hmm. 
so the source of the light uh, from this angle so I'll just leave this space as a as a light uh, uh, direction so probably And this building is slightly far, so I'll be using very light to compare to this a little lighter, and this whole thing will go till there. talking earlier you can always bring uh, the other color also in your painting so it will not be a monotonous so I'm just using here a little lighter because those buildings are slightly far not slightly but probably even uh, having a, a very good distance from here so And I'm leaving this space after after our painting uh, we can make this uh, human okay Just mop this extra water from here. Now we will be working on this car. And bottom uh, 
you can just give a little darker so uh, your shadow has to be very prominent here okay those wheels So I'm not going to paint here or anything because the source of light is this way so I want to make this as a lighter uh, so I I won't work much there but uh, you'll have to give a little shadow here because that uh, that reflection comes here and fall. Uh, sorry, uh, the shadow, the car shadow, comes here and falling here. So that you can give here. Okay, and same thing here, this car. Just an impression. Try to not work too much. Just leave this white space here so it will give you an, a dimension and the top also so it gives you a, a bit of dimension uh, the the 3d look of this painting the car okay Same thing here also, this and this. Okay, so uh, looks like uh, our second layer is completely dried and uh, I'm ready to do this, uh, the last layer of this painting, the third layer. Uh, there will be a little bit of uh, detailing not detailing but uh, just uh, giving a, a some final touch so example of this building so i need to make this window so something like this hmm. i've just taken this dry brush not much water on the brush and i'm directly i'm just you know I'm just applying here if it isn't too dark just remove that because too dark will not work
just somewhere a little bit not much do not overwork here All right, so now can you just see this? Uh, it gives you now impression that uh, the this whole wall of this building is is having a, a good amount of light so that's the beauty of uh, having negotiating those uh, uh, those lights uh, in the watercolor and it's very important it's uh, it's, it's a really uh, your your painting will look really great if you if you diligently put your effort to make those lighter and lights and say it uh, accurately so it's a it's a process of the learning and uh, you'll get it uh, don't worry about it some little street light uh, holes You need to have a driver, right? So little bit of a detail of the cities the poles the lights even do all of those detailing <laughs> 